today we're going to do a pattern landscape inspired by artist David Hockney. On your table you will find a handout that you will share with your shoulder partner. These are only suggestions, but everybody's landscape will have a horizon line where the earth meets the sky. Everybody's landscape will have sections. We'll be using marker and crayon today to add color and pattern. So let's begin. First, you have to decide whether you want your paper to be landscape, sideways, or portrait, up and down. Today, I'm going to do sideways. Each of these horizon lines are different in their own way. You can make your own or use one of these. You're going to fill up the entire paper from one side to the other side. And then you're going to decide how you're going to create sections. I'm going to do a diagonal wave. You want your sections to be kind of big because you're going to be adding texture. Then you need to decide what you want above your horizon line. Do you want a city, a neighborhood? Would you like to have a sun or a mountain range? It is completely up to you. Use your imagination or combine some ideas. I also want to add maybe a sun in the background. Okay, don't forget to write your name and class code on your paper. All right, now is the fun part. We are going to be using a texture plate and peeled crayons or crayon disc. The most important part is for you to put it underneath your paper and hold your paper still so that it doesn't move. The more pressure you give, the darker your color will be, and it helps to hold your crayon sideways. You can switch out your texture plates. These are crayon pucks, and they are to be used just like a peeled crayon. And I want you to create a different texture in each section, each large section. On small sections, you can use marker or crayon. When you're finished, your work will look something like this. And you can keep it here or take it home with you. Enjoy!